So I will be uploading videos that don't have Ryobi in it. I am going to upload a Ryobi stuff a lot. So like just once in a while here and there, I'm going to upload a different brand that doesn't have Ryobi in it. You'll see Ryobi in the background. That's going to be there always, one of those. Last thing, uh, my intro uh, for now on majorly shrunk. That's how it's going to be for now on. The only time it's going to have a special intro is during Halloween and Christmas. So that's pretty much it. So, But today, what we are going to do is we are going to do a half-inch impact wrench versus, versus the Ryobi P261 with a 6 amp hour HP battery. And we are going to, uh, uh, against the DeWalt DCF899 with a 6 amp hour battery flex. Now, uh, I've been playing with these for a little bit, and I just, I have been... Uh, uh, seeing which one's more powerful by sound, and the Ryobi is actually the Ryobi sounds faster. So here's the Dewalt with a six amp hour battery, and this is the Ryobi a six amp hour HP battery, full charge. So the Ryobi actually sounds faster, and what I like about the Ryobi is that it stops immediately when you uh, after you stop pulling the trigger. And for the DeWalt, it just spins out till it stops. But this is going to be an interesting one because there is a major size difference when it comes to these two. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, if I was a contractor and I was up on a ladder, uh, the last thing I would bring is this. The, this thing is extremely heavy. This is newer than this one is. And Ryobi is making a brushless half inch impact wrench to where it's gonna be more powerful and work with the HP battery. So I can't wait for that to come out. We're gonna revisit all these tests when that comes out. So, but we're gonna see what old school versus new school. So, I, I have no clue who's gonna win. I think the DeWalt's gonna win, but if the Ryobi wins, please don't hate me. Uh, so the specs, I'm actually going to read the specs on the back of the tool. Uh, the specs on the half, the DeWalt half inch impact is 0 to 2400 uh, uh, impacts per minute. And uh, on third speed, it is 1900 RPMs. And the Ryobi is uh, 3200 impacts per minute and 2900 RPMs. Wow. Well, we'll see. All right, so we are going to use the Tech Life Impact Rated Sockets. These things are awesome. I love the flat matte finish. Now, I did tests on these already. These things are beefy. They are very beefy. All righty, so we are going to use the DeWalt first with a 4-inch lag screw. I think right here is a and first battery is full. Come forward. All right, so three, two, one, go. That's in. Battery is full. Do it right here. All right, so three, two, one, go. Oh. Done. Hopefully I didn't put that in too far. All right, so let's take it out. Oh, I hope I can take that out. All right, so three, two, one, go. Fantastic. All right, so three, two, one, go. It is time for the six inch. Lag screw, do it right here. All right, so three, two, one, go. Time. All right, Ryobi six inch lag screw. Do it right here. All right, so three, two, one, Done. 
Now let's take it out. Three, two, one, go. There we go. All right, so three, two, one, go. Done. All right, it is time for the eight inch lag screw. So we're gonna go right here, DeWalt, battery is still full. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. Sorry camera, I knocked that. So, let's see what the Ryobi can do. Three, two, one, go. There we go. All right, so let's take that out. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. All right, 10 inch lag bolt with the DeWalt. Speed three. Battery is full, it's on forward. All right, so three, two, one, go. In. Very, very good. Tech Life impacts, impact sockets are, are good. I'm like, if they can withstand this, they're good and the, it's still very black inside. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. I, th I think the DeWalt won on this one, but guess what? The Ryobi is able to do this task. You know, and, it's, and that's the point I'm trying to make. That's the, the Ryobi is able to do this. You know, back, back in the day, it can't, but now Ryobi can. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. And the Ryobi is now done with the test. All right, so three, three, two, one, go. That's, that was out, it was already out, so yeah. All right, quick temperature reading, 98 degrees. It was Ryobi. All right, so 61 degrees is DeWalt. So the DeWalt ran significantly fast, uh, cooler than the Ryobi did. The Ryobi is really warm. I, I could like hold it, but the Ryobi is really warm. But yeah, but uh, that's the difference between brushless and brushed. I can't, this one's old. You know, it's new to, I got this last year, but this is, it's an old model. This is a newer model. 
I can't wait for Ryobi to make their their new brushless half inch impact wrench. And so uh, it's all, there's one already out in a different country, but they're making one for the U.S. So I can't wait to get that and test that out. We're gonna revisit these tests and add more brands to it. But yeah, but when it comes to doing this job, uh, I would do the I would use the Dewalt because uh, the just because of the te the temperature. I don't even care about time when it comes to this. I would choose the Dewalt because this got really hot and every t uh, near the end I would. Uh, like, it doesn't smell like it's burning now, but while it's working, the, the fan is blowing the air out, and I could smell that uh, it uh, that it's over that it's it's being overworked. So it's capable of doing it, uh, but it, with a good time. But this won't do it very long. The the Dewalt will. So uh, but these uh. So th these impact sockets are awesome. I'm gonna put the link in the des description below. It's thir uh, thirty-two dollars, I think, for the for a metric set. And so yeah, it's uh it's good. Uh, I want to get a another one, uh, in the future. And so to continue these tests and these things are awesome. These things are seriously awesome. Uh, I can't wait to do a Milwaukee uh, versus test. Like I said, I am gonna do videos that don't have Ryobi in it. So. During all winter, it's going to be non-stop versus videos because I'm not working on the house. So that's pretty much it. This has been the versus video between the Ryobi half-inch impact wrench versus the DeWalt half-inch impact wrench. The results are there, uh, but when it comes to long-term wise, I'd go with the DeWalt without even knowing the results. Because just because this got that hot, uh, this, this one would fry out. But it has the power it needs to do it with a less effort. In the long term, that's what really matters. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.